Hi, so I previously created a long 30 minute video on step by step on how to do a VPN from point to site to an Azure network. And this is more a summary of that. So I'm, I'm hoping to uh, summarize that in five minutes or less in case you don't want to sit through the 30 minute video. So what I'm going to do here is uh, show you what I've accomplished. So I have a VPN set up here to connect to the Azure network and I am going to click connect and you'll notice the Azure VPN client comes up. I'm going to click connect and when I click connect I'm going to choose my certificate here to connect to my virtual network. Now I'm able to, to connect to the private network IP of one of the VMs on my virtual network. As you can see, now I'm simply RDP'd via the local private IP. And let me show, summarize how I actually achieved that. So the first thing I did was create a virtual network. So within my virtual network, you'll see I have an address space here of 10.10.0.0.16. And my subnet here, I created a default subnet of 10.10.10.20 24, slash 24. And also, you're required to create a subnet gateway by pushing this button here after you've created a subnet. So, so the next step after I created the subnet is to create a virtual network gateway. And if you look at the virtual network gateway, when you're creating it, you associate it with the VNet01. And as you can see with these properties, you'll have a associated network and also the subnet that you've, the gateway subnet that you've set up in there will automatically be pre-populated. And once you've done that, you're gonna create a bunch of certificates. So, let me go into these certificates. So you could use these certificates that will be in the description area available for download. You're gonna to have to create a root certificate. So I have instructions and commands in order to do that. You're gonna need the Windows SDK for that. Or if you don't wanna go through that, you could simply use the certificates that I have, which is associating and importing the root certificate converting that to a base64 and then also creating a client certificate so the client certificate is what you're gonna to have to distribute with the VPN software so let me go through what what that entails here so after you've created the VNet gateway you're gonna to have to configure it point to site configuration and those things that I've mentioned the the root certificate here that information actually goes in here so I have a address pool set up for the IP addresses of the VPN clients and if I open up the base64 cert you'll notice it looks like this but the Azure UI requires that you have this all in one line so once you once you've compressed it in one line, which is what I have in this file, you can copy and paste that whole line into this GUI here. So once you have it in this GUI, you could save it. And when you save that, this download VPN client button will be activated, in which case you could download the VPN client. And once you download the VPN client, uh, you're pretty much done, but you also have to import this VPN client PFX file by double click on it and importing the file. So uh, that's really it. That is a quick summary, five minute summary of uh, how to set up a point to site VPN. And uh, after you've done that, you're going to be able to VPN and remote desktop in via the 
private IP of the VM. Notice I don't have a public IP here. So that's really that's really it. That's really what I want to show. And and if this wasn't clear and you need more help, go to my detailed uh, video that is step by step, and that is a 30 minute long video uh, of how to set up this point to site. VPN and that's really it. I hope this helps and thank you for watching.